Yo, what's up guys? I'm Molten Map. Um, this is another tutorial video, but this is going to be a uh, simple bone mill farm made out of cactus. Uh, well, pretty much using cactus, and as you guys can see, it does work. And this is another project you can make as high as you want it. Um, you're just going to need some solid blocks, hoppers, composter, chests, sand, water buckets, and uh, I believe, I don't know if I left out cactus, but you guys get the point. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the super flat world so you guys can see how to build this very simple bone mill farm. Let's go. One more thing, guys, before I uh, go on with this tutorial, I really want to tell you guys I do go live on Twitch a lot. So if you guys want to see me, uh, you know, just come hang out, chat or whatever, you guys can find me at Twitch at Moltencraft underscore gaming. I once in a while do Facebook gaming at Moltencraft gaming, no underscore, but there is a space in between the two. Um, also, 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 I don't know. Well, let's just go ahead and get on with this tutorial. <laughs> See you guys there. All right, so let's get started. You're going to need a space that's 11 by 11. And what you're going to need, like I said earlier, is you're going to need a couple of water buckets, oak, uh, oak fence, any kind of fence, uh, stone bricks, any kind of solid blocks. You're going to need sand, cactus, couple of hoppers, and a composter and a chest. I completely forgot to add that, which is okay. We all make mistakes, right? Anyway, so pretty simple design. You're going to start off with your stone brick. You're going to go up three high. One, two, three. And then you're going to go one, two, three. And you're going to do that on all four corners. So we got one, two, three. And one last time is one, two, three. And now what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and build it across just like so. And um, I will be right back with you guys once we do that. That will go ahead and leave you with something like this. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and fill in this entire platform right here. And then you're just going to want to leave the centerpiece open. Let me show you guys real quick. And there you guys have it. Very simple. Very, 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 very simple. So what you're going to want to do next is go ahead and just make a little wall like right here. Just like so. This way you can leave the water inside. And remember, leave the hole in the center. So just go all the way around. Just kind of like that. And this is where your hopper and your composter is going to come into play. And you're going to need one more hopper actually. So what you're going to want to do next is you're going to go ahead and take uh, your hopper. You're going to take your composter. And you're going to take your chest. And how this is going to work is you're going to find a corner to put it in. It really doesn't matter the corner. So just center yourself. Place the chest right here next to the hole. Not directly under it. You're going to place the hopper right here. Actually, what you want to do first, you're going to place the hopper on the chest. And then you're going to place the composter right here. And then you're going to go back to the top. And you're going to place down your other hopper. That way... Whenever the bone meal falls, it'll go into the hopper, into the composter, into the chest. Now, I normally double chest it. I'm just OCD that way. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your sand. Okay? So, you can go ahead and put this stuff away for now. Actually, you don't even need this. You don't need this. You're going to need these, though. You're going to take your sand. You're going to take your cactus. You're going to take your water bucket. And you're going to take your oak fences. And you want your stone bricks too, just for some temporary blocks. So what you're going to want to do now is go ahead and go one, two, three, four. You should have a total of 16. Four, eight, 12, 16. Four, eight, 12, 16. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. That's where your water buckets come into play. You're going to go ahead and do this. And you can see how it evenly lines up with the center. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. And then once more, go ahead and do that. That way, whenever the cactus breaks, the uh, cactus will go into here. Just float its little happy self into here. Into the hopper. Into the composter. Into the hopper. Into the chest. Now for your temporary blocks, what you're going to want to do is just stack the front, two, uh, the front two too high. And then the back two too high. And I'll show you why you're doing this. Because what you're going to want to do next 
is you're going to place your fence at the top of each and every single one of those just like so. You can break these and then you're going to do the same on the other side. Just like that. And that way when the uh, cactus grows, so when it grows one more, the fence is going to, since it's not supposed to grow past a, a block, like you can't, you guys know what happens. <laughs> Anyways, the fence is going to prevent it from growing any higher. So when this grows, it's going to automatically break the second piece, knock the cactus into the water. And the whole process begins of into the hopper, into the composter, into the hopper, into the chest. You know, believe it or not, that is a tongue twister to say. So you're just going to place your cactus like this and you pretty much completed your first floor and you can repeat the process. So go two high, two high, well actually three high, one, two, three, one, two, three, do the same on this corner, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you just basically repeat the process and I'll show you guys what I mean. And there you have it pretty much what it is a simple bone mill farm um, this can go as high as you want it to until you reach your block limit um, it doesn't take long to build at all and it's a great starter farm as well um, especially if you're trying to grow a lot of trees to get a lot of wood and you know grow crops to get a farm going I think this is the perfect start for you guys um, all you guys got to do is find a desert get some cactus get some sand and get some solid blocks. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Because iron still start game stuff. Uh, chest is start of the game. Uh, all this is basically start of the game material. Um, I really hope this uh, video helped you guys out. And um, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do have another gaming channel called Molten Map Gaming. I kind of gave up on it. Uh, mainly because I've been so inactive on it. And I wanted to start a new channel, start fresh. And have fun with this one um, where I can be active, where I can socialize with you guys. Um, also do some live streams as well. But um, if you guys are new here, like I said, subscribe button. Click that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload another video. I do plan on doing some of my uh, uh, some videos on my single player world to show you updates and stuff like that. Not really a walk, more like a walkthrough to show you what I've done. Not really a playthrough if that makes sense. But then you can pretty much customize this however you want as well um but like i said i really hope this was helpful um also hit that thumbs up um you can click the dislike button but make sure you click it twice or it won't go through it's a weird thing youtube has going on you got to click the dislike button twice and the thumbs up once i i don't know but uh <laughs> i will see y'all later